Hello everybody, welcome back to, wait for it, The Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, my name is Dizzy. It's been a while, it's been quite a while. Um, game is quiet, game is probably supposed to be being quiet at this point. There we go. Oh, it's been a long time. Uh, I've been away for Christmas, for New Year's, for various other things uh, around December time that happen. Uh, but I'm back at a, a sort of funny time of day today. But this is maybe the start of some more drastic schedule shakeups, possibly. Uh, it's not like a guarantee. Uh, we are jumping into Medved Tiger, as is usual for my off-hours streams. Uh, yeah, so I, as the New Year sort of came around, I sort of looked at how I stream and where and when I stream and sort of thought maybe I could do better. So one of the things that I have been hoping to do for a while is oh my gosh that's very janky oh my god there's lots of uh <laughs> there's lots of uh side quests we've got everything's going to be a bit slow for a sec while i just head over here and do the classic dizzy standard kit fixing section of any good call of the wild stream Uh, yeah, so I sort of thought, I'd, I'd, I've been wanting to, to stream on YouTube for a while. I've been wanting to be sort of trying out other time slots on a more regular basis for a while. What have we got in our inventory? Uh, we've got the Zaza 15, which is taking classes 2 to 4. Uh... Right, we don't need the king for... Um, Medved, because the king only does class 9, so that's the only class values we don't have. So, the king can come off for sure. Let's actually take everything off. Let's take everything off. And sort of start from scratch. Uh, I'm going to keep the Hyperion, because we always want the Hyperion pretty much. Uh, we do need this. We do need this, we don't need that, we don't need that, uh, we do need this, what else have we got? Uh, still nothing that calls musk deer, even after all this time, we do want a moose caller. Uh, we do want this to attract walls, because we don't have walls. Don't need that. Goose call, I don't think so. I don't think the Caper Kelly could be attracted by any callers. Uh, Doesn't uh, the wiki doesn't seem to think they are okay. Right, so I think that's everything we need in terms of callers. Uh, what guns do we want? What guns do we want? Um, what's a gun that I haven't used in quite a while? I haven't used the Hudzik in a hot minute. Should I grab the Hudzik? Uh, sure, what, what ammo do you use? You have the .50 caliber mini, and the .50 caliber round. I think I want both, because I think you're the one where they're slightly different. Yeah, you're 4 to 8, you're 3 to 7, okay. So you'll hit most things. 
And then perhaps, I guess, a class 1 to 2, which would be the wasp, would be ideal. I'm enjoying the old wasp. Uh, what do you need? 2 to 8 ammo. Sure. Then we can grab a bow. I like the bear claw. And the bright sight bow sight. We've got a little bit of, of weight limit left. I could potentially carry a handgun if I wanted to. I could grab this. Magnifico 410. But. 410. Birdshot. I think it's what I want for that. Hang on a sec. Point forty five cult. That one. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, amazing. I don't think I have quite enough weight left for a night vision scope. Oh, I do. Okay, let's have the night vision scope then as well. Right, so. My gosh, this looks very dramatic and lovely. Okay, now that that's done, let's close down all my things with our. Slowing down the stream for you guys. So, do that. Oh, screen, so I'm not looking at it. Fantastic. Okay. Right, so the Hudzik is going on number one. Oh, I need a scope for the Hudzik. Because uh, it uses a different thing. Compatible items. What are you? The Galileo 4 8 times 3 2. I have to pick off that night with scope then. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh. Coleman can put on number five, I guess. Bow on number four, hang on number three. I need a scope or a sight for the handgun, ideally. Might not have the room for it. Uh, let's actually find out what it's compatible with. Goshawk handgun scope. Yeah, I don't have the weight limit for that, that's okay. I guess we're on <laughs> iron sights for the old handgun if we're going to use it, which is not ideal, but I guess it's going to be fine. We've got the night vision binox. Uh, let's call us. We've got the moose caller on 9. We want the distressed fawn caller on 8. Muzzle loader scope. Perian scope. Rangefinder scope. Ammo. You only have one type of ammo. Uh, we are going to need a bit more of this for one thing. Uh, I guess let's start out with the minables and then we'll switch to the other ones if we meet a class 3 animal. And then the birdshot and the handgun. Actually, what would make most sense is if I have this, then I have something on by default for everything. And then... Oh, I need my arrows. I've got my arrows out. <laughs> arrows. No storage. I wish the storage was, was as nicely organised as the storage. Uh, trace arrows. Trace arrows. Trace... Arrows, I think. Yes. Turpel on the table, Connor's arrows. Uh, okay. 
Fantastic. We are ready. Ready to go. Let's have a look at our mission log. Uh, kit fixing has taken a little while longer perhaps than normal so far, but that's fine. Oh my god, we've got a lot of missions. So our main mission is search an area for evidence of a predator. Which area? This area that I'm in. Well, that's going to be handy, I guess. Uh, we alternately have find a cave painting. And the southeast hills of Rybatsky Bay. Where the hell is Rybatsky Bay? This is Rybatsky Bay. I'm guessing this might well be the cave, if I had to guess. Southeast hills, okay. Uh, we have to go to Piani Forest and spot musk deer. So that's the area we're in now. So we can combine this with the main mission, potentially. Okay. Got to travel to Piani Forest and harvest a moose. Okay. And we have to harvest a reindeer at night. <laughs> yeah. I like this description. Our anthrax problem is becoming epidemic. Please cull more reindeer. That one doesn't have a thing. Okay, so I guess we're sticking around here. We are looking for evidence of a predator in this little sort of area that we've got around here. The wind is currently blowing due east. Oh, well, this sort of... This looks like evidence of a predator. But I'm... Why is there a... Why is there a QR code here? Don't scan that, because I don't know why it's there. I didn't put it there. <sighs> what the f*** are those? Junya? <laughs> <laughs> or as you may call him... Bigfoot? Figna, I say. This is a joke, right? You're playing a prank on me, like on TV. Where are the hidden cameras? We don't have time for this. <sighs> you didn't make the tracks, did you? Well, if you didn't make those tracks, I need you to find out who did. Well, that was uh, an easy mission, I suppose. So, I guess you're tracking Trutunia now. I've seen a lot of weird crap out here, but this is a first. <laughs> find more tracks so we can tip off the police. But remember... You're a hunter, not a commando. If you encounter poachers or pranksters, do not engage them. Seriously. And unless you're packing some high-caliber firepower, don't engage the bears either. Trust me. Now these tracks are behaving a bit strangely. Well, that's not necessarily the best news I've heard all day. Uh... Wolves, puppies, potentially dangerous ones. Do I have my torch on? No, I don't have the torch on. Okay, that's why the tracks were looking strange. I mean, I'm still not sure why they're the colour that they are. No way did you hear me from this far away, surely. Should I be calling for them? Maybe not. Should check that everything's loaded. Oh, everything's not loaded. There we go, see? 
Good job I checked. No water over there. Okay, everything else is loaded. What have we got? We've got around there. At a range of... About 200 meters. Oh, well, there's like a whole herd of them. What's the default range on this thing? Apparently 150. Oops, lost the bears. Come back here. I want to nab these bears first. Well, I'm going to nab a bear because there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to get a second shot or follow up shot. Oh, goodness gracious! Uh, thank you so much to Team The King's Deck 6 for the follow. It's wonderful to have you here. How are you doing? Uh, right, bears. Do I think I can take one of these bears from the front with this gun? Answer, probably not. I am doing very well, thank you very much. We are going to, hopefully, pop this guy and grab him. Oh my god, the longest reload animation ever. I forgot. Oh my god. This isn't even a track. I guess that's something for later in the Anthrax story. That is a Cape Achille or whatever the hell they're called. Hello? Bird? Bird? Well, I mean, I'm assuming it's a Cape Achille based on the fact that it couldn't be anything else. Oh. Did I answer? Did I answer Team the King's next question? If not, I'm doing all right. Uh, very distracted, as you can tell. Am I playing with yours? No, I am soloing it so I can do story things. Uh, why did I shoot that bear? Why did I shoot that bear over here? I've gotten lost and turned around. Oh no, I've moved my marker. It was like somewhere over here. I have to go back and double check. Whoopsies. I like the only one who's on PC. What, who's playing COTW at the moment? I'm sort of surprised. I, there's generally like one or two people at any given time. Oh. Where was that bear standing when I shot him? Where was he? Ah, there we go. Blood. I got so distracted by the bloody birds, <laughs> I lost myself entirely. Uh, which is always what you want. It's not. Uh, oh my gosh, okay, we've got some sort of a, a bot thing going on. Uh. Oh dear. 
Well, that's not good news. Uh, <laughs> that is possibly going to be going on for a while. Uh, let's see if I can shut that up for one thing. Okay, uh, everyone's going to have to hold on for a sec while I deal with this. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Now, of course, the interesting thing with how Twitch works is I can't easily ban people for, for, for bot spam follows <laughs> if they haven't said anything. Uh, right, that might be something I have to deal with off stream. Uh, what I also want to know is why am I still hearing the noise from all of the followers? <laughs> um, my understanding is that you guys aren't. But why am I still hearing it? Yeah, somehow I don't think that any of these uh these uh sudden ones are genuine people. You know, call me call me suspicious. Uh, one sec, I'm just getting everything ready so you can like hear things again. Okay, hopefully you can now hear the game, and not various spam notifications coming up. Uh, and I am going to have loads and loads of work to do off stream, isn't that fun? To uh, get rid of all of the bots. Right, this track is from after we got the shot. Just need to figure out what way he actually went from here. Because um, that's going to be difficult. Oh. Okay, we're going to get up and run a bit. At least until we find something that looks a bit likely. What are we thinking? You injured bear? No, you're not. Uh, are you blood? You could be blood. You're not blood. Okay. One sec while I grab this. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm busy. <laughs> I've lost the bear, I don't know which way he went. Ah! Blood! No? More feces. Okay, maybe this is blood. No. Where the hell did you go after you got shot there? <laughs> uh, fortunately, I didn't see, because I was busy having a whacking great big reload animation all over my screen. Oh, you went this way. There we go. That's much easier. <laughs> That's a lot easier to find. Just the body. Okay, 
Savalaka E Trophy. Oh, a nice gold rank for a little bit. Blonde Bear. I was nearly a bit low there for him, to be honest. Which wasn't great. Also, that's definitely not where I thought I was aiming. But, I suppose to some extent, it doesn't really matter. Um, I am still hearing those follow notifications come in, by the way. Just, just as an update on that. Uh, Okay, let's go back and find more... what did she call him? Chuchunya. Bigfoot. How many was that? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's fifty. Fifty random fake spam accounts. Lovely. Wonderful. It's going to be so much fun getting rid of all of those later. Um. But we've got our first harvest of the day, which is something to put a bit of a smile on my face. Just important to keep an eye out for reindeer in particular, because we have that uh, Nighttime reindeer quest. Well, apparently there are puppy dogs here. It's a shame I didn't see one of those. I also like how she specifically said, like, don't go up against a bear. What's the first thing I do? Shoot a bear. <laughs> Congrats, Dizzy. Followed instructions to the max. This is horrible. <laughs> okay. This is roughly where we lost all the footprints. Now I need to find specifically where I lost all the footprints. Now those are bear tracks. Those are not Bigfoot tracks. Wonder if those purple ones are the Bigfoot tracks. Perhaps I have not gone quite far north enough. What do we think? No. 
no, those are dog tracks. Of course, I'd already I tapped into on oh, uh, the dog trail, didn't I? Right, okay, so finding these again might be a little bit of a challenge. But it's fine, we are more than up to it, I'm sure. If all else fails, we can head back to the lodge and follow them from there, I guess. Doesn't help. It's very difficult to see the shape of the tracks from far away in this particular terrain. <laughs> Wolf. One of these was not like the others. Which one was it? It's a bear. That's a musk deer. Okay, we might have to head back to camp. Start again. So I've now gone past them. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a lovely reindeer. Okay. So, where are we? We're starting from this one's. Why is there a barcode here? Doesn't do anything with the camera feature. Hmm. It's not a barcode, it's a QR code. I think the notifications have stopped. Oops, one sec. <laughs> Y'all are going to have to hold on uh, while I... Yep. Get back. The uh, stream up alerts now that they finished going off crazily. And. Uh, set up. What am I looking for? Properties. Set up the audio so that you guys can hear them if they go off again. Professional streaming going on right here in front of your eyes. And ears. Uh, we have a first time chat from Juiceman9803. Welcome. Uh, you join me in the middle of cleaning up after 8,000 follows all sort of dropped at once. Uh, use your iPhone to scan it. I suppose I could, but uh, my phone is old and slow and is not going to get on well with uh, trying to scan it. I've got a picture of it. I can muck around with the QR code at the end of the stream, I suppose, if people want to see where it leads. I guess it's going to be an advert for a another Call of the Wild DLC or game. Oh, who's that? A Grey Wolf mating call. It's far enough away that we can't actually hear it, we can only see it. So I think the chances of them hearing and coming towards us are negligible. These footprints were apparently made to run, which is interesting. I guess that could just mean that they're like spaced far apart. But if I were making... Oh, hello, who's this? Who's this? Hello. 
Me on your lonesome. No, maybe got a friend. This is not good cover to hide in. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, there's a few of you. Your difficulty is apparently very hard. So I want you, ideally. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I might have made them angry. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. What a horrifying noise. Right, let's get this out. Right, okay, so this is where the track was. Right, let's bang on top of it. Find some blood. Ah, uh, apparently you were here when I last saw you. That looks like blood. Fantastic. Oh well, apparently you dropped pretty quick. So this shouldn't be a long chase then. There we go. One body. I guess this thing hits moderately hard. Which is in a way surprising considering that as guns go. Uh, what is it? Hang on, let's be specific here. As guns go, it's not the most advanced technology we've got, it's a cat block. I don't know if it's a smooth bore or not. Uh, can you please tell me something about my gun? Okay, it is a rifle. So that's something. Uh, let's have a look at our lovely trophy. A big silver... I didn't hit a vital organ. Oh, it was aiming too high. That's a shame. Oh well. Uh, I'm not sure I actually welcomed Juice Man properly, but uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, you have joined in in a moment of, of quiet and not many hits going on tonight. It's been fairly slow. Uh, but that was a fairly juicy sized wolf and we got a fairly juicy sized bear earlier. I'm desperately trying to actually sort of stay focused. I'm grabbing these Bigfoot tracks. <laughs> Not succeeding, it must be said. Uh, but Siberia is wonderfully snowy at this time of year. Ooh, well, yellow. This time of year. Uh, I'll let out blow. But I'm not going after her. She can come to us. 
if she wants to be shot, basically. We can take one of those, can't we? Yeah, 4 to 8. Fantastic. I'm going to spend 10-15 minutes at the start of the stream getting my kit together, so I bloomin' hope so. Taking. Let's give her one more blow. This is the distance we've managed to get from the house without being distracted. It's 90 meters, it's not far. Okay. So you went this way, apparently. Annoyingly. Your tracks don't show up on my little mini map. I think this is exactly the same track we got to last time as well. Oh, there's another bear there. I'll leave the bear. Leave the bear alone. <laughs> leave the bear alone. Focus on Bigfoot. Otherwise, we will never ever get this done. Somewhere off in this direction is all I can get. There we go. Taking us towards the bear. As we get closer and closer to the bear, it's going to be harder and harder to leave the bear alone. <laughs> We can shoot one more animal on that lake before it, uh, before it starts becoming a problem with hunting pressure. Is it really going this way? Track. Just have a scan around. In case there's any other boys. Where was it? Hang on. I've lost it. Uh well, I've totally lost it. Lost. I could see it with my binoculars before. Oh. Hang on. Let's go back to the last one. Double back. A book for this hard to find. I mean, I know that's sort of the point, but still. would definitely be easier if I wasn't doing it in the dark. Still there. I'll tell you what, if I can find that where the Bigfoot tracks come out of these horrible raids, I am going to go into the raids. So apologies to people who, like me, will not be able to see anything for the next goodness knows how long. Oh, are you Bigfoot tracks? No, you're bear tracks. I might have to 
Did I get turned around in there? No. Where are you? Bigfoot. Chichen, yeah. What are you? Not Bigfoot. Darn thing in these bushes. Amazingly, this bear has not moved or noticed us at all. Oh, it would be so easy. He's making it so easy for us. Leave the bear alone, Dizzy. Leave the bear alone. We've got really blooming, awfully awkward tracks to find. He's now sort of thinking about leaving, I think. Which is probably for the best. Well, I sort of think is if I just go around the reeds, then I'll find where he came out. Right, that's a, a sensible sort of a plan. I can't trace them through the reeds. I can trace any tracks that came out of them. I will say, this is a strategy I employ semi-regularly. For, for, for finding where things have gone in this game, and it never ever works. Like, the logic behind it is impeccable. And yet... Marker on these tracks. Right, so I can always come back to these ones. Uh, where the hell did you go? Bigfoot could actually have come out of these anywhere. Let's be honest. Well, I'm fairly sure he hasn't come out on the ice side. Because I'd see them. What's the mission say? It just says, like, find. Such as in the, in the area marked on my map. That is. Basically, where the tracks end. Maybe that's the point. That's the last track before the air I have to search. Yeah, 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 Pigu, whatever. Does this show up on my tablet? No, it would be too useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Brown Bear. Look, I could have shot you at any time. Alright, so don't you all get in a hissy fit, because I didn't. Oh, this would be so much easier. Ah. <laughs> uh... Right, 
right, we are going to not hunt very much for a long while until I found whatever this track is that I'm looking for. If I go all around the edge, then... Still just a pick. Yeah, if I go around the edge and I'll see where he came out of this area. If he didn't come out of this area, which it's so far looking like he didn't. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of map checking. I can't do this with the tablet for whatever reason. It's a big area to search. I'm spooking animals. So long as I'm spooking animals and not like attracting wolves by going clomp 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 all through the forest, that's fine. Um, like, yes, it would be nice to shoot some things. I don't want to uh, lose the highlights and then make Bigfoot tracks sharp in purple. Uh, hello. <laughs> Seeing as you so kindly obliged. <laughs> hello. I couldn't really say no, could I? Uh um, over here. Sort of wanting to head northwest ish for a bit. Actually what would have been more sensible? Rather than going around the edge, would I'm not. I'm not mad about that shot, honestly. I mean, I couldn't have done it without the rangefinder, obviously. But uh, hey, um, yeah. Rather than going around the edge, probably what I should have done is just employed like a, a straight up north south, uh, back and forth over the area. I also am only assuming that the tracks are going to show up with a purple highlight. It's entirely possible that they're not. God, that spooked me. I thought that was a person standing there. Oh, that's a kitty cat, I think. Ah, oh, I love shooting the kitty cats. But, uh... I'll let it be. I don't think it was going to stop us anyway. Uh, 
Oh, this is a kitty cat feed zone, which we do want to have marked. Right, well, I guess mark it and then run back to pick up our Bigfoot marker again and then go back to searching. Tracks here. Well, dear. Okay. And pig. Ugh. Can't see anything, can't see anything. Again, uh, the area starts in the in the lake. It starts sort of around. Oh, hello. Well. That sure makes me feel like a fool. Okay, that is pretty much on top of them. Okay, well now that we've got these, we can maybe just follow them. So that's a big maybe. It's definitely not asking us for this, is it? Maybe it wants me to take a photo of it? No, okay, that's just a random photo I've got of a dead animal now. I don't think you have a... You do have a cone on you, okay. It definitely points out here. Huh. Curious. Let's 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 go sort of to north. Let's go north and do that that just north south search pattern that we were talking about before. Let's just do that. Because at the moment we are hunting the wild geese and it is not being very productive. Yeah yeah yeah, whatever.
Let's go due south. Just look. Let's go due south. Just look the tracks on either side. Some kind of deer tracks. Don't know which kind. Okay. This forest is pretty spooky. I am pretty spooked. Uh, particularly by things like this. The logs. The more person shaped than they have any right being. Okay, we are basically at the bottom now. So let's go a little bit west. Oh god. Go a little bit west, find a need zone, cry. Because that means we have now lost our. Okay, probably from here. We'll go up. Now we have to look at any tracks, even the blue ones. Oh, these ones. They're not showing up. Just in case. Let's set them over here. Have a look at the track. Now it's four. Go back. Again. Find the sleep zone, which is nice. Right, somehow I don't think this is big for poop. This might actually be easier with the non night vision goggles. Right, we're about to dive into this again, which is awful. But there's only so much that can be done about it. That's not good news. I am legitimately quite intimidated by the uh, the walls. I know that better hunters than me have uh, have been chewed on quite significantly in some cases. Ah, hello. No. We already found that one. We've just moved up out of the uh, the area. Gosh darn. Okay. And south. I mean, look. Look, I, I wouldn't have seen those. 
just goes to show how futile this might be. There's a puppy tracks. If I was a nice game developer, I'd put it in the middle of the lake. I'd in fact put it exactly where that thing was. Ah, hello! More figna? There is no Chuchunya, no Bigfoot. <laughs> Someone is pulling our leg and stealing people's food. I will file a report on this nuisance with the police. Keep one eye on your backpack until we catch the criminal. Amazing. We did it. We did it, gang. We are the greatest hunters to ever hunt. We've got a new mission. What's our new mission? Enough to tune your figure. I need you to track on another weather station inside the permafrost crater. Look in the place marked on your hunter mate. Okay. Where's that? Oh, that's in there! Oh, okay, in the spooky crater. Right, and we still got to do things in uh, the Piani Forest area. The wind is currently blowing due east, which is that way, which is unfortunate, because that's the way we're supposed to be going. So, what I maybe suggest is we take a detour, we set a waypoint here, fast travel up here to there, I reckon there's going to be an outpost here, probably, that will be revealed by this. And we basically do some road tripping for the next, let's say, hour or so, I'm guessing it's going to take. Because we absolutely do not have enough, like... We don't have enough of this map unlocked at all. We're not even close. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed to identify that, apparently. Oh, I was meant to grab some more ammo earlier and didn't. Uh, let's have a look at what we need more of. We need more 50 caliber minables. That's probably enough of those. Okay. Off we go. What time is it? It is 1.32 in game. I don't know if this game has like a, a prevailing wind or a wind bias. It certainly feels like the wind is almost always blowing towards the east. On this map, at least. Uh, which is exactly the way I don't want it to be blowing, I will say. Because I've started in the west. And a lot of the times I have to go east to get somewhere that I want to go. Uh, it could just be bad luck. I certainly can't rule out bad luck. Quite. That's not a no. That's not a lake. Right, we are back in normal hunting mode, looking for animals and shooting them, as opposed to running around, accidentally bumping almost slap bang into two musk deer, and then shooting them with the bow because why not? <laughs> Oh, it's a disaster. I've got a mission to spot musk deer, and I wasn't spotting anything because I didn't want to change which tracks I had highlighted. Oh, busy you are, an idiot, aren't you? Oh, no. oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, interesting. That's going real pixely. Normally that only happens when I've got loads of mist on the screen. Hmm.
That's real pixely. Look at that. That's terrible. They've done something to the, the like the graphics of this game. I don't know what, because it hasn't made it run any better, that's for sure. Uh, they changed something and now lots of things look very pixely, particularly at night. The moon, however... Oh, you can't see, tell through these binoculars, hang on. The moon looks absolutely gorgeous up there in the sky. Uh, Any fools around for me to shoot? Uh, reindeer at the moment would be grand. Because I'm not quite in Piangi Forest yet. I think I have seen reindeer around these parts before. It's also, it's a beautiful clear night. Look at that! Big old starry sky. That ah, tracks. Evidence that someone has been here before. And through the power of Hunter Vision, I can see those bits of disturbed vegetation through 12 feet of actual bush. Never let it be said that uh, this game is too realistic. What have we got? We've got moose here. Moose that were here. Uh, this is the old railway line, which we love, because we love trains. This is a pro-train stream. One who is not pro-train. Oh, this is particularly the crashed train. The sad train. I had forgot. I suppose there is a bit of mist sort of happening over there. As well as this is also the second Call of the Wild game with a fake Bigfoot subplot. Because <laughs> you find Bigfoot tracks in uh, the Angler as well, which I am incidentally intending on streaming again fairly soon. There's been a new map, well it's like a month old map now, but it's new to me, set up in Norway. Uh, that I think will be a lot of good fun to, to go and fish on. What is this we're going towards? We don't really know. Okay. Uh, when I head onwards from this point, I'll probably see if I can 
swing by that lake to have a look out and see if anybody's having a little sippy sip, a little drink. Somebody be sleeping, or somebody was be sleeping. If I put my waypoints all over there, Ash. We can head to the lake shore. Have a glance out. But they don't be sleeping anymore, whoever it was. Which is a shame, but not a surprise. It's very far away there. These bears do have super good hearing sometimes. He didn't smell me because he's upwind of me. Way. Possibly a bear. It's in the bush. Uh-oh. Whoa! -ho. Hello. Hi there, Mr. Bear. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's somebody else nearby. Oh my gosh. Well, that was spooky. Uh, he is dead, though. Oh! Oh, that was a good, good showing. Blimey. <laughs> that bear just ran rings around me, literally. Uh, right. Let's find out where he's gone. Did I actually find out what that was? That's a hunting stand, okay. Apparently it was only a low hit. A low bleed rate, but we did get a vital organ hit. It's always a bit tricky with a real close range bow firing to sort of aim properly because I didn't have time to zero it or anything. It was just sort of somewhere gen in his general direction and, and know that it's going to hit higher than it looks because we're it was zeroed for 40 meters. Oh, and the uh, arrow was not automatically reloaded. Right, hello you. Come here. Bronze cinnamon bear. Oh, I did shoot him a very low actually. Luckily I got the liver. I'd have much preferred to get the lungs. That's okay. You went down. A bear is a bear. As they say, they probably don't. Um, I should really figure out when this new zone is actually active. So I didn't register that. Mm, okay, 8 to midnight. Quite a while ago. Right, we're 20 minutes in, we've hit checkpoint 1 of our journey. 500 meters to checkpoint 2, and then. Uh, the lockout point will be imminently there. I've just realised there's a sort of revealed area around that. Which is interesting.
Oh my gosh, hello! Right. You're over there, are you? Um... I can't remember if I'm allowed to shoot you while you're... resting. Or not. But I guess... There's only one way to find out in there. Oh, that's not zero, frankly. Another one over there somewhere. We're not going to have to see it though, are we? Let's do this. Fantastic. Well, there's quite a few of them. It's taking flight. Oh, absolutely no chance. Absolutely no chance at all. Well, okay, we've seen and killed one for the first time. I've seen this is a rest zone for them. No, this is a moose rest zone. Four different moose rest here, apparently. Blimey. Okay. Plants in case there's any more people about. Okay. Right, okay. You confirm trophy. Gold! Okay, you are allowed to shoot them when they're sitting down. That's really good to know. That's my first ever one of these. Caper Kaylee. That's probably not how it's pronounced. A nice shot through the middle. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. I'm actually going to taxidermize that. I know it's not like a particularly special one, but it's my first one. And the taxidermy was nearly free, actually. Okay. Or, oh, well, the animal in total, like, it barely cost me anything over it. So I got a thousand for it and paid fifteen hundred for the tax. Right, we've been meaning to, to, to see and shoot one of those for quite a while now. So I'm glad that we finally did. I say quite a while. It's a long term IRL, but it's not a long term in terms of total time streamed. We're heading back towards the river. River? Lake. Uh I mention the river, it gives me flashbacks. It gives me nightmares of flashbacks, and I was the one doing all the murdering. Uh, so imagine what it must do to the poor reindeer. We have had kitty cats through this way. But... Yeah, that's the other thing, with, with defaulting to the 4 to 8 ammunition for our gun. A there's a, a few reasons for it. One being that it'll hit everything else a little ha harder. And second being that, given the choice between what we're going to see more often, moose or cats, it's going to be moose by a, a margin of quite a few. Because the cats are notoriously difficult to find. And the moose are commonplace, although we haven't actually seen any today. We have technically seen a cat today. Um, but yeah, they're commonplace and they are also thick as two shot planks. And so a lot easier to actually get a shot on.
fresh brown bear droppings here. So they've been here moderately recently. He sleeps here. Musk deer sleep here. Okay. I assume this is again finishing up the point, yeah. Okay. Quite a lot of musk deer sleep here, actually. How many? What's the number? Give me the number. Oh, hello, blimey. Hmm. One sec. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, I think that will have been one spot for my side quest, which is nice. At least I managed to get the spot off this time. <laughs> Just absolutely, like, did not see him at all there. <laughs> oh dear. And I was looking as well! You all saw me looking. I am just that blind. I am also going in the right direction, but that's fine. I wanted to, to just check this last one. See if it was also musty, yes. Although interesting that they all say that there's only one musk deer here, despite the fact that there's clearly been several musk deer here. They're just each not aware of the others. Oh, hello. Right, I want a bow shot. Right in the open. That's a decent kill. What am I zero for at the moment? I'm zero for sixty. I, was, I, I upped my zeroing for the uh, the thing with the, like, the wasp. Uh, the way the next track is. Oh, that's purple. There we go. <laughs> okay. I really wish I could call for those. The other job it is to invent new animal callers. Get on it. Make me a Siberian musk deer caller. I suppose, probably. People don't hunt them very much though? Or like, sport hunt them, I guess, perhaps. Because this doesn't... like, you know... Siberia doesn't strike me as... Sport hunting territory. They can hear me. They're really upset by me moving through this bush. But I have no idea where they are, so it's not like I can go shit about it. Have a quick glance through the branches. That's not there. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I suppose this is a forest, isn't it? This is the Piani forest. Oh, we've reached the lake. Let's go slow. In case there are animals on the ice. Grab the trophy. That's a bit better, we're getting there. I still have lights to aim a little higher. Was that a drink zone track right on like under me? I thought I saw one, but it now seems to have disappeared. So perhaps not. Okay. Ah, hello. Oh my god, that's a lot of pigs. That's a huge number of pigs. Right. Well, as there's nobody else here, I guess it's just a case of finding the heaviest pig. 
to 53. Uh, that picks good. 43 to 74. Got the same weight estimate. 100 to 139. Okay, that's the best pig. It's moving. Marvelous. Excellent shot. Gold pick. What's the range for a diamond? Okay. Well, it's not super duper far away. Nicely sized gold pick. Lovely job. Oh, we've already zoomed in there. Just have a quick look around. Uh oh. That's not a good noise. Uh oh. Oh gosh, are these wolves attacking me or are they attacking the deer? <sighs> Ow! Well, as you can see, the uh, the using the handgun in self defense has gone exceptionally well. Oops. Let me hit the, uh, the old type in chat button. <laughs> right, but that, oh my god, look at his eyes! <laughs> Hang on a sec, I've got to save that somewhere. He's taking a little print screeny, cheekily. Can I... oh, hang on. Does it show up on the camera? No, it doesn't show up on the camera because I got my, my torch turned off. Oh, lovely! Lovely job. Boom. Very happy with that, how that turned out. Right, uh, that's probably enough smashing animals here. Right, is any of this neat zone? This is neat zone. And then that's neat zone. Put our next waypoint on the uh, tower, which is there. Oh, this is a bear! A bear needs a... okay. Right, and the other one is also there. I had sort of naively assumed it would be a need zone for those musk deer who were being chased by the wolves. But no! It's a completely different animal. Oh, and we finished our mission. Lana says you are in the mountains. It's about lynx. Can you track me down? Harvest the lynx and pass the harvest check. Oh, now that's a bit tricky for the old lynxes, because they are small targets. They're tricksy boys. Do I have to do it just anywhere? No, it has to be in the Pianya Tiger. Where's the Pianya Tiger? Okay, it's these two bits together. Right, so I've got a fair old area to do it in. That's good. We're still looking out for a reindeer. I haven't seen any today. 
maybe they're not forest dwellers? That can't be right. That definitely can't be right. I like how it's the, 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 the text on this was like, I'm concerned about links in the area, can you track one down? And it's not just track one down, is it? It's, it's blast one off of the face of the earth. You're worried about links in the area, but not so worried about them that, like, you don't want them dead. You're not that worried about them. And that's a fairly low stand, like, like as, a, as a bar. They probably do get lower than that, but uh, not much. Yeah, well, I think this has gone quite well so far. We've got a nice range of things: some bears, some musk deer, a pig, some wolves. to make lots of noise going up the slope. That's probably fine enough, I guess. We'll live. I'll look back at that, but I'm not shooting anything on there. Because otherwise all those drink zones will go kasplut. We don't want that. Hmm, can I get up this bit of hill? That's Lynx. Oh, I really want the lynx. Got a mission for a lynx and everything. But they're so tricky to get. The thing about lynx is, not only are they intelligent and have good senses, but their small size means they are really, really blooming difficult to see. There's wolves all the way over there, a million miles away. Oh my god. I'm stuck on this tiny little nubbin of rock. Uh, yeah, 360 meter away wolf is not a viable target. Like, a lynx is, is bigger than a cat, it's bigger than a house cat, but it's not a lot bigger than a house cat. And there is quite a lot of foliage around on this map, if you've noticed. Uh, although I do now know the locations of two lynx feeding zones. Which is really going to help. Look. I hate the noise that one makes. It's a horrible noise. Don't think our Lynxy boy is coming. Somehow. Those walls are out of uh, earshot for the core, so I couldn't have attracted them in any way. Anything going on around the lake? Lynx hasn't taken a detour that way, did it? Oh, okay. I think we're going to give up on the lynx, go up to the tower, carry on with what we were planning to do before. Uh, Have a look around, because this is an interesting sort of weird open bit. There's stuff very far away to the west. I guess that's the crater. Um, it's a very weird hill.
If a lynx was here, I could say you've chosen a very weird hill to die on. Huh. There is some interesting writing going on, for so sure. Sure. Uh... Anyone at Expensive Old wants to uh, let me know what this is? I don't think that's how shadows are supposed to work somehow. Just have a quick look off the edge here. See if there's anyone about. There's not. Looking down the steps. Oh, for goodness sake. As soon as I start running, it's just like, hi, I'm here. Like, thanks, cat. Couldn't they have done that a wee bit sooner? Could they? Although, there's plenty of open ground between me and it. So, it's got a lot of potential for a cat hunt. So the ground is uneven and that's going to conceal the cat. There's down in the green bit smell me. Okay, we have temporarily ungiven up on the cat. We've temporarily given up on the giving up on the cat, if you will. Boom. Uh. Oh god. Okay, that's impossible. Ah, uh, inventory. The other will pull on the balls. Do the longest reload animation anyone's ever made. Pray. Yeah, there's no way I'm iron sights in this cat. Please still be there, please still be there. Fantastic, amazing. Oh, he's moving, he's moving quickly as well. Did I hit him? Oh, I don't think I've passed the harvest check. I'm gonna have to. Nope. Go, run! Fly, you fool! Oh my god, the running is so slow. This is just the slowest moving out, um, run anyone has ever done. No. I've not done them. I need to find where the last track was where he actually was wounded. Blast. Hello? There was a track here. No organs hit. Ah, oh, I did kill him though, which is like the worst of all worlds. Which way is it? This way, apparently. It's not this. Because that's an old shot. That's an old track. So, where are you? Where have you gone? Is it this? Don't think so. Oh. No, that's 
Old one as well. Now, looking for this one, I think. Oh, hiss. I hate this. Ah. Oh, we need blood. Oh, your poop. Oh, your old poop. You're not the one I'm looking for. Oh, this is such a nightmare. Your blood. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, look at this horrible animal. It's backtracked right on itself. I like how we got right up to the base of that tower and then got distracted and wandered away again. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This awful cat! I'm trying to find the, the right tracks from it is just awful. Are you the right tracks? So you can't see anything about like the tracks. Okay. No. Oh my god. Does anyone know which one the blood was? Somewhere over here. Apparently I'm still right on top of it. See the big thing. Somewhere in this direction. Not that one. This maybe. Yes, I think I'll for that. Right. We killed it. We didn't kill it well though. I wonder why we did hit it. Tell you what else we need to do is we need to put the other ammo in. Alright, we're gonna be hitting you. I feel like that was more or less on target. Honestly. If that had any penetration at all, that would have hit a, a lung. What's this one we've had? Musk deer. Another musk deer sleep zone. Okay, well, we we took a, a punt on the cat and we failed. That's okay, there will be other cats. Although, night time is definitely going to be the easiest time to find them. Um, yeah, shooting them now in this area might cause problems. From all the big old hunting pressure blob we got going on. I could have. Oh, there's so many of them go go this way apparently. I I could have tried to put the bow. I was worried that it was far enough away that I wouldn't be able to like place the shot properly in the dark. Because it's very difficult when you're head on to avoid hitting the face. Because if you hit the face, you've muffed it. So I had to go for sort of an awkward side shot. And I muffed it anyway, so you know.
least that cat is still nearby. Doesn't sound like it, though, does it? Okay, well, back to where we were before. I think we're gonna go up this horrible hill again as well, which is lovely. Grand. Fantastic. Other such adjectives as these. The other thing with the bow is the bow is much more susceptible to like... Oh my god, what's that? Oh, there's a grey puff. Uh... Should I be concerned? Oh, they're, they're just bothering the deer. That's fine. As long as they're not going to bother me. <laughs> That's the main thing. That is a bird. It's a very long way away bird though, I think. Oh, where are you going? Settle down. Stay still. He's, he's been disturbed by the wolves, of course he has. How far away is that? 225 meters. I know I'm right underneath the tower. But I really want a bird. Well, there's a moose there, also being chased by these wolves. These wolves are a menace! An absolute menace! <laughs> um. Right, okay. You are probably close enough to this that I don't want to shoot you with a, a non-bow weapon. So, we are unbelievably actually going to try for this with an arrow. With a bow and arrow. We're going to try and hit a bird with a bow and arrow. There's a bear over there. Lovely job. Keep, keep on bearing on. I guess he's sort of there-ish. We are having some real difficulty with the old, uh, the old rocks. This bird. I think the chances of us getting this bird are monumentally slim. I think by the time we get there, it's going to be long gone. Because we have to move at the speed of not making too much noise. And even though I think they've tweaks the distance that you make movement points very, very slightly so that it's harder to move fast. There's the bear going out on the ice. It's apparently attentive. Good for you, bear. You pay attention. Make sure there's women. Yeah, look, see that bear hurt me. Against those bushes. You make sure that uh, you don't let those wolves bother you. Oh, that's a kitty cat. Oh no, what a disaster. Ah, oh, okay, I'll come back to you another day once I've gotten rid of all the hunting pressure that's here. Come back for you. I really want this bird. It's not going to be there, but I really want the bird. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, Echeveria is having a real bad time. It's a, it's a type of plant. It's having a real, real bad time. He's shed a lot of quite big plump and, until a couple of days ago, healthy leaves. 
may have overwatered him. Stop it, there's two of you. Oh. You horrible creatures. It's coming this way as well. Okay. Do my best. I'm gonna be real sneaky. I'm gonna sneak through the bush. I'm going to try and shoot the lynx with a bow and not destroy any hunting zones. That's the plan. Is it going to work? No. But we gotta try. We gotta try. Okay. Where is the key? Because he's quite far away still. Okay, we're gonna blow for him. Need to be hidden in the bushes, please. No, okay, apparently I'm just not allowed. Well, that was quite the, sh the shot. Question is, was it a good kill? I don't think I'm going to convince that cat to come in. Well, maybe. Right. Okay, he's in bowing range. If this one was a fluff, I'll try him. But I'm nervous about putting too much pressure on here. Okay, what have we got? Bronze past the harvest check. I think that was the mission. Okay, he's heading away. And that's probably for the best. Okay! Fantastic. Oh. Lungs intact if you can handle that. Also in this area of the world. Well that's a shame. Cause uh... There was just a lynx here. And I harvested a lynx not very long ago with the, the lungs intact by mistake. Right, how the hell do I kill you with your lungs in fact? Like, I could shoot you in the head, I suppose, theoretically. Oh my god, I don't think I can though. No, that zoomed way too far. I've got the wrong ammo in you, but that's fine. Oh, that was a mistake. I just smushed that all because I didn't use a bow. Whoops. Whoops. Did we get the thing though? Nope. Not even worth it. Ah, oh, what a disaster. Okay. Okay. Like, I'm just gonna go up the hill. Crying shame. And then we're probably going to call the stream there. Is that a cat moving? That can't be. No cat would be stupid enough to be here right after I just fired a musket. Or a, it's not musket. I keep calling it a musket. I'm going to continue calling it a musket. Um, because I'm stubborn like that. But having said I wasn't going to claim this, 
It might actually be worth claiming that as well. Even though it's going to take ages. Right, well, we scuffed everything. Um, we've made a total meal of that lake and all of the animals around it. It's been a bit of a disaster day trying to find Bigfoot and complete missions. We've objectively got quite a few missions done. I think we've done three today, haven't we? Spot deer, kill a lynx, uh, and the main story mission. Right, here's the lookout point. <laughs> That's a thing. How far away is it? 300 meters. We will leave that for next time. We will probably drive a quad most of the way if we want to pick that up. Um, as it is, uh, that only sort of really leaves me to say thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, my name has been Dizzy. If you've enjoyed this, uh, please do drop a follow if you're not a robot. Uh, I want to say big thanks to uh, Team the Kings and Juice Man for being around in the chat. It's always nice to see people, especially new faces. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, then you can drop a like and maybe even subscribe. Uh, it's always nice to see you all there as well. I know I've taken obviously quite a big break from YouTube. Uh, the same I've taken a break from streaming for the last sort of week and a half-ish, I'm going to say ballparking it. Uh, but it's good to be back into the flow of things. Uh, I don't know what times I'll be streaming for the coming week, partly because my sleep schedule's knackered, partly because I'm, as mentioned, sort of trying to shake things up and see what things work, what things don't. Um, if you want to keep on track of when I will be streaming, you can follow me on Twitter, at this for Demise, or on Mastodon, eldritch.cafe, slash at this for Demise where I send out a little notification every time I go live, so you never have to miss one of these again in the future. Other than that, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra! Bye!